Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Matt Diazable, coming at you with some new music reviews. And today I am checking out New York hardcore band Firewalker with their album, Hell Bent. This is one of the newest bands signed to Triple V Records, and they bring their own unique style of fiery riffs, uh, pummeling drums, and very visceral vocals. And I gotta say, I, I have mad respect for this band because they recorded everything themselves and that's never an easy thing to do. And uh, I will say because of that, that is one of my issues with this album is to how the production is. I'll get more into that, but it's definitely something that's a bit of a glaring issue with this new hardcore band. When I started listening to this album, the first thing I noticed that was gonna be probably a big problem I thought was the vocals um it's really really hard to hear the vocals on this particular release uh they sound really really low in the mix and really hard to fully hear um I will say the vocals when they can be heard they do sound pretty well they have a nice fiery and angry style to them but uh, as the album went along, I was thinking, is this a production issue? Is this a like vocalist issue? And I noticed that on the song uh, Hellbent, they have a feature from Justice uh, from Trapped Under Ice and his vocals as well were really buried and just really hard to hear. So it made me think, okay, I don't think it's a vocalist issue. It's more on the lines of the production and they didn't layer the mute, the vocals well, or they didn't turn the volume up on them. I'm not too like technically climbed or I don't really understand that stuff too well. I hope to learn more as I do these reviews and stuff, but it seemed like it was more of a production issue than the vocalist's abilities with screaming. And uh, I think a good example of that is on the song Lit Up With Fire. You can definitely tell like the vocals are just really low in the mix, I think there. So I wanna play a clip of that for you. Like the vocals have that fire to them, but it just seems so low. And I think another good sign, I won't say good sign, but evidence that this album was poorly mixed was the guitars and bass. Just like the vocals at times, they seemed a little bit buried or they were a little bit too high in the mix. And so it drowned things out. And I just don't think that was a good way to go about this record. Cause I feel like there is some parts in here that could have been a lot better if they were properly mixed and had a proper volume to them. And I gotta say another unfortunate thing about this album is some of the songs seemed a little bit lackluster um, and kind of bland. And I gotta say that like the music, it's hardcore, it sounds tough. It's got a little bit of a grit to it, but just the way that some of the songs felt, it just felt like they weren't really into it, it felt like, or they were just going with some really, really simple beats and uh, playing and it just comes out kind of meh. And I think a good example of that is on the song, Carry My Torch. Maybe it's just me, but it seemed too simple and just so lacking of energy. I felt a little bummed out while listening to it. Uh, let me know what you think, but I'm gonna play a clip for you right now. I guess nothing's really grabbing my attention with this song because it just feels like it's just there. Even though most of the songs didn't really grab my attention or felt lackluster or had poor production, I will say there were a few tracks and a few times on this album that sounded uh, pretty good. It had a good like vibe to it and had some more like energy to it. And I think what really, really helps with this band is their drummer. The drummer is quite amazing, I think because they are able to just be dynamically impressive with their drum patterns and their timing and just being in the zone. They just sound like they were just really, really tight and just sounded super, super dope. Like on the song Scorcher 2, the, the drumming is just really, really tight 
and just sounds really nice. It's mixed well and they're just playing really well. Uh, heck, even like all the other band members, the guitarist, bass, vocalist, they all sound really good. Like they, they really put their energy into this song. And so I'm gonna play a clip of Scorcher 2 for you. Like the song sounds pretty decent. And so those are my thoughts on this album from uh, Firewalker Hellbent. And I can see how the band got signed in terms of like probably playing lots of shows, working really hard and having somewhat of a unique sound. I haven't checked out their early material. I know, bad. I probably should have before making a review. But, you know, listening to this makes me want to go back and listen to their other stuff and see. Because I feel like I see the uniqueness and where and why they got signed from like there is something here that sounds pretty good like there is remnants of a, a good band there's a lot of potential here but that production just really really doesn't do this band justice and i know that it was done in-house and everything mad respect for the person in the band who did that i can never do something like that so mad respect but it does show like it wasn't the best and I feel like the band could do better if they had a better producer and uh, engineer but who am I I just talk about music I don't play music yet hopefully one day but I'm out here just just trying to have fun and just give some good uh thoughts on something but yeah so I would say this uh, album from Hellbent is a solid and decent six out of ten yeah uh, links down below. Tell me what you think about this uh, release. And until next time, guys, watch this video over here and I will see you in the pit.